Hi everyone, Arjunal Page today. I'm starting with the background from these leftover pieces from other project and they are quite color coordinated but uh, otherwise I don't care. I just wanted some green turquoise in the back and I don't care about the pattern. I'm just going to start collaging the pieces into my page. I'm working in this sketchbook which is quite large. It's a, an A3 size and I'm just going to use some glue stick and try not to uh, overthink it. Just putting my pieces to cover my page. Most of it uh, won't be shown. It's just the start to a page and uh, as you can see I'm just putting a little bit of a uh, glue and trying to be quick about it. Let's see. I'm also overlapping the pieces just so I will have more interest as far as um, things will show through. I don't want to have a specific line showing through, that's why I'm, uh, I'm overlapping. I've got quite a big large piece here so I'll just stick it in the center. just trying to use all the pieces or more likely <laughs> use uh, all the patterns I have the more I am putting in the back the more interest I will have because only a small part of it will be a uh, picking through let's see haven't put some, anything from this so I'll glue this one somewhere so I'm just going to continue uh, gluing pieces until I cover the whole page so I'm going to continue with this and then I'll come back so I'm back I've got my background, the start of the background covered. I <laughs> really like it. I'm not sure it's good to cover it, but I'm sticking with my original idea for this page. And if I have leftover pieces from this, so I can do another page and <laughs> leave <laughs> more of this kind of uh, background. Now I'm going to use this and believe it or not, this is not supposed to be a stencil. I found it in the cheap store a few years ago. It's supposed to be some wall decoration. Don't know who would put something like this as a wall decoration, but I didn't care. I just uh, took it uh, uh, to use as a stencil. So I'm putting it here and we'll see what uh, it gives us. I've got some dark blue here, some uh, light blue and white and this sponge brush and I'm going to start with the darker blue uh, in the edges like so and I'm planning on most of the page to be with this dark blue and then just uh, going lighter as I'm coming towards uh, the center that's what I'm uh, going for so as I said most of uh, my original uh, collage in the background is going to get covered we'll see what uh, it gives us and if it was worth it <laughs> so 
as I said, sticking to the edges with the darker uh, color. And just so you will see what I'm talking about, I'm now dipping a little bit into the whiter, into the lighter blue and starting to tap towards the center of my page and I can take a little bit more and continue so I have some kind of a more shades on my page and they blend together and more interest I think <laughs> So taking more of the lighter blue and doing the center I still have a little bit of the darker color on my sponge so it's still blending and uh, giving me more shades in between which is great Now it's a little bit difficult uh, in terms that I have texture because all the pieces in the back but and now I'm dipping a little bit into the white so the center is even lighter. Now I'm putting a little bit of uh, pressure when I tap uh, because as I said I've got texture where I have overlapping pieces in the back so I want to get in I'm not really concerned about a crisp a stenciling but I do want to have it a nice outcome <laughs> so I'm going to continue with this and I'll come back I'm back so I've got some interesting background with this uh, kind of stencil and I'm taking a little bit of the darker blue with a brush and just going very uh, loosely just to make some kind of border and I'm I've taken a brush with hard bristles so it will give me this kind of well brush look <laughs> with <laughs> With the brush uh, strokes, I'm not. I want it very loose. Uh, so this is just to frame my page very loosely with brush strokes, showing. I haven't put any uh, thing underneath this is the last uh, <laughs> page of uh, this journal so I don't need to protect anything okay so I am really liking what's going on here but I still feel I need something more on the background before I'm starting to work on my focal image so I'm thinking just adding some spray so I will have a little bit more color that will tie in this background with this stencil but not cover it I don't want anything opaque so let's see I've got all kinds of sprays and didn't know I will uh, be using this so let's see I've got ones that I make from gel food coloring with water and I've got two here these are mixed media sprays by Cadence and well I think I'll do a test before I'm putting it on my page I have leftover pieces so I can test the color 
okay these are i think opaque so i'm not i don't think i'm going to use them because they are covering the pattern and these are mine yeah i think maybe i will go with this very lightly and i want to tone it down so i'm thinking i'm to bring some purple into the mix where is my purple i don't know let's see testing yeah just turn too much turquoise so i'm just turning it down with the purple that's it that's what i wanted this needs to be completely uh, dry before i do anything on top of it but i'm going to just move it aside and let me show you what i had planned for my focal image so i wanted to create some kind of a flower let me just yeah and i wanted it uh, with some to be a little bit <laughs> pink i will be brave and use pink got two uh, uh, scrapbook paper i have this is for me this is just horrible the color and the uh, uh, pattern so what i've done is just stamped all around it uh, i don't care i didn't much care about the um, what stems i've picked because this is going to be cut into petals so each petal will hold only a little bit of anything that you can see here and i've picked another shade of uh, pink because i don't want again uh, that my flower will look flat i wanted to have two uh, at least two colors for my petals and once again this is this is just blend so i've stamped uh, on top of it and what i'm planning to do is just i'm going to flip this over i'm going to take some, a pencil and i want some petals that would look like this i'm going to start cutting a lot like this i'm as you can see i'm doing it freehand i'm i want several sizes i don't care i don't want them to be a uh, uniform uh, they need to be very loose and i need a lot of them just so i can play maybe even one that goes a little bit wonky <laughs> and let's do another like this and as i said just so i will have something to play with and the reason i flip uh, the pages is that to so i can when i'm cutting i will cut from both of them and not start all over again i'm going to use nail scissors it's easier to cut shapes that are curvy with this because then you use the curve you have here for on the scissors it just makes life easier so when i'm doing this and you can hold your pages in place with some uh, with some clips if you are not comfortable uh, working like this and even cutting i'm cutting loosely uh, the pencil lines are gu just guidelines and here i've got all i already got two petals so what i'm going to do is just continue cutting all this uh, so i will have a lot to play with and as you can see i didn't it now i'm only going to uh, cut the curve it's just easier this way than 
trying to manipulate this whole uh, page just to cut one petal so if it's not if it's not in the direction you can cut it just cut around it and then do the more fussy cutting basically do whatever is easier for you <laughs> so I'm going to continue uh, cutting petals for the flower I want to make and as you can see each petal is uh, holding something else on it so it makes them more interesting and it really doesn't matter what stamps you've put on so I'll be back I'm back so I've got lots of petals that and now it's just playing with the placement until I'm satisfied I've also uh, again freehand just a cut from the leftovers I had from the background uh, some leaf shape and again in the mostly the same shape as my uh, petal just so it will be more uh, more coordinated <laughs> my flower <laughs> and I still need a piece for the inside and I haven't decided how I'm going to do the stem now I want the uh, inside to pop and I'm thinking about using this I hope it will work but I like here I want some details uh, on this uh, page so I'm going to stamp let's see I've got this a uh, sunflower stamp that I hope will give it more interest so I'm just moving this and I'm using this Seedless Preserve uh, Distress Ink. I'm mostly interested only in the middle, but I'm stamping all the same. Mm, not so great. Let's see if I can do a better print maybe flip it over let's see let's take this area and I'm gonna press like this that's better so again I'm just going to uh, cut very loosely the center I am not looking for shapes that are symmetrical and precise yeah something like that so I'm just going to play with the placement as I said and start gluing all these pieces down I'm always uh, doing something like that that takes a lot of time but it's worth it and maybe we'll see what happens I thought I'm not sure if I want a complete flower like this or if I just want a, it partially. We'll see. As I said, this is just playing with the placement of all the pieces. So I'll be back. I'm back. So all the pieces are glued down. I just want to give a little bit more definition to all the parts so I'm just taking this purple uh, felt pen and going just around all my cutout shapes and maybe I'll even go uh, in some places and add a little bit more like here in between the petal just to give some more a uh, shadowing that I don't know <laughs> so the basically just so it will be more uh, noticeable and more interesting I don't know so that that's it basically just going 
around my shapes and I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves that now I'm uh, regretting not stamping on them like I've done with the other pieces but it's enough that they have some kind of pattern on them and it doesn't have to be as busy as the petals on my flower I just switched to the narrow I have two sides to the felt pen so I just switched so it would be easier in this case so I've got quite a job for me to go over all the pieces so again I'm going to do it and return when this is finished I'll be back I'm back so this is it finished the page I thought about more stamping or more adding some shadow and just decided to leave it I like it and I don't think it needs more of course if you like and you are doing something like that and you feel you need more go for it so this is it for now thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and I'll see you in my next video Bye for now.